Hello everyone, I want to share a spring floral um, leafy metallic doodle project with you today um, using these Artex metallic acrylic paint markers. Um, this is a set of 12 metallic colours and this is the box that it comes in, really pretty packaging. Um, and if I open the box, um, these are the colours that you get in the set. So I'm really excited about trying these. Um, I reached out to Artex because I don't know whether you can remember a few weeks ago I tried their Simtap um, paint markers and was particularly excited about the gold and silver colour that was in this set. Um, this is the Simtap marker set and for anybody who's interested I'll leave the link to the video sharing these in the description box below but the gold and the silver were just so pretty um, that I reached out to Artex and asked if they would um, send me the metallic colours to try out. So I have taken the liberty to swatch these on various types of paper and the colours are just absolutely gorgeous. So I swatched them um, on white paper to start off with and if I tilt this I don't know whether you can see the beautiful metallic shine, really pretty. I've also tried them on black, they stand out absolutely beautifully on black. These are just really really opaque, um, just absolutely gorgeous. I think some of them have got a bit of a colour shift as well, I don't know whether you can see the three um, at the top that look as if they've got a bit of a colour shift to me. Tried them on craft cardstock, really pretty. I think craft cardstock always looks gorgeous. And then on grey as well, I thought, you know, try it on grey as well. Um, so those are the colours. Now, let me just um, try these out so that you can um, see as well. They're beautifully, beautifully smooth. But then I think that all of the Artex paint markers um, are. Um, I reviewed the first set that I ever tried against Posca markers, and I just preferred these so much more. For starters, I just love the fact that you don't have to shake these you just take the lid off um, and um, away you go but they just are so smooth so juicy I just absolutely love these so there we go um, the metallic shows more once the colours um, are dry but they're just beautiful now I was particularly interested to see how these compared to the Simtap gold and silver so let me just swatch out the gold and the silver and let's compare. I'm going to do this um, on all of the four types of paper and then we'll grab the Simtap ones and see how these compare. I'm just doing this on the back of the sheet of paper. I've done these in a different order but um, it doesn't matter. So let's have a look and see how these compare. So this is the gold in the Simtap and already I can see that this is even juicier um, than this one here. Let's try it on the, the grey. It's just more of a brighter gold, I would say. Try it on the on the black. Yeah, I think you can see on the black that it's just um, a slightly brighter gold, but let's see what it's like once it's dried. And I'll do the same with the silver, and then we'll be able to compare. These paint markers dry incredibly quickly, but let me show you the difference. So I think, especially on the white, that the gold is much, much brighter. I can't see too much difference between the two silvers, though, to be honest. This one might be slightly brighter, um, a whiter kind of silver. So that's the white. This is the black. So these are the Simtap. These are the, um, the new set. This is what it's like on the uh, craft cardstock. Again, I think that the gold is a bit brighter, not too much of a difference in the silver. And then finally, the grey, this one here being the um, Simtap and this one here being the um, the new set. So for anybody who's interested um, to see how the um, gold and silver compare between the two sets, then now you know. Let's see if we can come up with a pretty tag that we can put into our art journal. Now, look Looking at this, the colours I've decided I want to use are this pretty pink here, the three at the top, so I'm going to pull those out. 
just so that I know what colours I want to use. And I also want to try the gold and possibly um, the silver as well. So let me just move the rest out of the way. I'm going to be working on a black piece of cardstock. This is just regular cardstock here, which is very smooth. I actually swatched the paper out on black mixed media paper, which has got a slight texture, but I just feel um, that it might work better on smooth cardstock with these. And also that this was just what I had in my scrap box. And so I'm going to go off camera now and draw myself a design. And I'm going to use um, a white pastel um, pencil to do that, just so that I can actually see um, what I'm doing. I personally find it easier to just draw my design first rather than just go off the off the bat. Let's draw a really simple design. Now I'm going to be using this um, Conte pastel, white pastel pencil. Um, how do I want to go about this? I think I want to start slightly um, off centre over here. So let's just draw a bit of a circle. And I'm just going to do a very loose floral shape. I don't want my petals to be too perfect. So I'm just going to draw this really quickly so that I don't overthink what I'm doing. Yep, that's um, a reasonable shape. And then I want some kind of foliage as well. So let's draw a stem and have some leaves. Now you could, of course, just draw your or paint your design on with your paint markers. For me, um, I need to draw my shape. I'm not very good, but um, I'm too much of a perfectionist. Not a perfectionist as such because my drawing isn't very good, but I, I need to know, I need to visualise what um, I'm working with, I should um, say. I just don't like doing it straight off the, off the bat. So just drawing some loose leaves and I'm hoping that the paint pens will cover up um, this white pencil. I'm pretty sure they will because they're so opaque. So just doing a really sort of quick and very basic design here and then maybe one down here as well so some foliage here really loose and scribbly as you can see i think we might have room for some more leaves on on this one you know and the, the leaves are pretty much um, misshapen as well and that's perfectly okay do i like that yeah i think i do i think i'm going to start off by adding gold to my center just so that i've got um, a central space to work with i could maybe even add a little bit of silver to that as well oh that's pretty isn't it and then, of course, I wanted the pink for my flower. Now, I've grabbed both colours of the pink and I'm wondering whether I should start off with a lighter pink or go for the dark. I do like that dark colour. No, let's just go for it straight for the for the dark. And again, I'm just going to follow um, my lines. Don't want anything to be too perfect. And, you know, if this isn't quite opaque enough, I can um, always leave, uh, go over it again. I'm leaving a space in the middle just because I might want to add maybe the lighter colour colour there. Just working from the outside and working my way, my way in. I like how that looks. And the white smudging, I'm not too worried about that. Hopefully it will um, rub out with um, an eraser if I if I need it to. And if I've got some black spots, I'm just going to um, leave those because I think it um, adds interest. So just really loose and scribbly. And I think for me, the easiest way to do this is to go sort of really quickly so that I don't overthink what I'm doing. As you know, I have a tendency to overthink things and then you um, overdo it. Doesn't that look pretty? That's absolutely gorgeous. Then what do I want to do? Do I want to add some of this um, lighter, lighter pink? Perhaps we can add that in some of these gaps. I do want to leave some of the um, black though, I think. Yeah, you see, I like the way that that looks. Isn't that pretty? 
and trying not to um, to overdo it. Now for my leaves, I want to use this beautiful peacocky um, blue here. I think that's the most gorgeous colour. So let's start off with the stem. Let's get that in to start off with. And then I'm just going to do the same with the um, leaves. And again, trying not to overthink these. And um, if I've got some black showing, then that's okay. Is that dry? I'm just going to very quickly paint my my leaves in. This is the most gorgeous colour. I think this is my favourite colour out of the whole whole set. These are so smooth and um, and easy to use. And as I say, if I've got some white showing, then that's okay. Hopefully that will um, rub out. If not, I can probably go over it with a Stabilo awl. So I'm going to do that to the other leaves as well. And then maybe we can um, add some um, of the other blue, maybe perhaps this lighter one as well. So there we go. That's what we've got so far. So let's see what it looks like if we add some of this um, paler, paler blue, maybe in the uh, gaps that we've we've missed yeah you see that just looks lovely just adds a really nice um, contrast so i'm just going to fill in um, all of these these gaps if i'm not happy with the shape um, of the leaf i can alter it if i want to or just leave it mis misshapen i mean leaves are not all symmetrical and perfect anyway are they I'm wondering whether I want to add just a hint of a vein perhaps on my my leaves just with this beautiful green, not too much. Yeah, you see that's really, really pretty. Just sort of like an oval shape in the in the centre I'm trying to to add. Nothing too too much. I want this to be very whoops daisy, very abstract looking yeah you see i kind of like it if i leave um, a gap in the center i feel as if i want to go over the flower again um, just to make it a little bit darker i'm going to try and be careful not to alter my shape too much and try and leave in some of those black areas still so I'm just going to carefully see if I can go over my, my shapes, leaving some of the lighter colour in the centre as well. These are so beautifully um, opaque. Yeah, I think I've managed it without spoiling it too much. You see, that looks better to me. And then we can add some more of that light colour in the centre. Again, trying not to cover up all of that beautiful black. And we can always add some more of that gold as well. Again, I don't want to cover up all of the black. I think I'll let that dry before I add some more of the silver. These dry incredibly quickly. Let's just add a bit of silver just in the centre here. Not too much. I don't want to cover, cover all of that gold. And then finally, I can maybe add a little bit of the gold here with some really light touches. I don't want to be too heavy handed with with this. Just as kind of stamen in the center of my flower. Trying not to cover up that um, that black. Beautiful. I don't know whether you can see I've smudged a bit here you can see i've got it all over the side of my my hands i'm just using a stabilo all pencil just to go over that area there 
which will just hide it and then you would never know. I think that's the only area that um, that I've smudged. The rest is, is pretty good and you see now it's made it invisible. You can't um, You can't see it. And for those that would like to know, this is the Stabilo All Pencil 8046. These are just so useful to have in your arsenal because they will just go, go over pretty much everything. Paper, glass, plastic, metal, a really useful pencil to have in your stash. So what am I going to do with this? Well, I think I want to add it to one of my journals. Um, I want to finish a couple of bits and pieces off. You can see that I've already marked um, a mark in the centre. I just want to add an eyelet. Where's it gone? Gosh, it's gone really dark all of a sudden and I can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to add an eyelet to this to finish it off. Yeah, got that in the right place, thankfully. So let's just squeeze um, this down. Squeeze a bit more, I think. There we have it. So that looks um, really nice and neat. And then I've pulled out one of these Tim Holtz little um, sentiments, metal sentiments. I've forgotten what these are called, but I'll look it up and um, leave the link in the description box below. If I forget, remind me. And this says life is about creating yourself. I've also cut um, a small piece of burlap. Um, it's a bit crumpled um, that I want to stick this, this down to. I think I'm going to add some glue first. Um, now, which glue do I want to use? Let's use the art, art glitter glue. I think this is as good as anything. Um, sticks to most things. So let's do, do this and pop, pop this on. I'm only um, using, whoops, nearly dropped it. I'm only using a little bit of uh, this. That's stuck down to my fabric and I want to poke some holes either side because I want to put some little brads through either side. Let me just do this. I've got some glue on my pokey tool um, so it's not going through very easily. I don't want to um, stab myself. I've had enough accidents for, for one week, as you can probably tell from my uh, poorly fingernail. Um, so let's have a look now. Let's stick stick this down. I'm going to need to trim some of the excess away. Stick this one through as well. Try and get these nice and nice and flat. And then I need to um, go and find my jewellery pliers just so that um, I can trim the excess away from, from the edges. And then I'll be able to stick this down here like that. So that's finished um, that off nicely. And I'm wondering whether I want to add some white splatters or not. Oh gosh, will it enhance it or will I destroy it? I think I'm going to go for it. So before I pull out the white paint, let me just get rid of the excess from these. Might need to be cut down a little bit more. I think that will do it. I can probably go a little bit shorter. I don't want to cut it um, too short though. Be really careful when you're cutting things, things like this. And we'll do the other side as well. There we, there we have it. And so then that's ready for me to um, stick that on. I am going to pull out some white paint, though, and I'm going to use this Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. You could use watered down um, white paint, acrylic paint. Um, use whatever you have in your stash. It really, really doesn't matter. Um, mine's gone a bit, um, a bit hard. But what I'm going to do is just put some of this in the bottom of this pot here that I keep it in. Let's just wipe away the excess and then I've got my spray bottle as well. Let's put the lid back on. You can reactivate this as well. I think I've had glue in this pot. Um, I do want to have, let's have a look, a piece of uh, grease proof paper. This is just parchment paper. Whoops, I've just um, knocked my camera and then let's just mix this up a bit and 
what can I use to uh, to tap it on? Let's use my, my ruler and I'm just going to try and be... Oh, yes, you see, that was the right thing to do. I don't want too many, I think. Is that enough? I think that's plenty. The white, I think, was the right thing to do. I think the splatters have made all the difference, just lifted it. I've got a beautiful piece of rose pink sari silk, which I'm just going to thread through. I'm trying to give it that, um, that vintage vibe. Oh, come on, Butterfingers. I've just been off and uh, washed my paintbrush as well. And then we need to glue glue this on. And again, I'm just going to use my art glitter glue again. Just add some to the to the back. Need quite a quite a bit here because it will soak into the fabric. Let's uh, just pop this down. Oh, about there, I think. Isn't that lovely? And I can just um, pull pull these threads off as well. And I'm just going to weight that down. In fact, actually, I could use that because that's um, that's quite heavy. Isn't that just gorgeous? So what am I going to do with it? Well, I'm going to put it in my usual scraps journal. I haven't worked in this for such a long time, um, but this is more of um, a mixed media journal this time. Um, I've done a couple of these, um, three or four of these um, over the past couple of years. This is one of my favourite pages. Just absolutely love this. And you'll find the playlist um, to this particular series in the description box below. These are the pages. Still got loads and loads to um to fill um really nice that um, i've kept the continuity using using these have i done any more pages this this one here but i did find a page where i would like it to go i love the stitching that's on this braille paper here and so i think i'm going to pop it there i think the craft um color just adds a really nice touch a really nice um backdrop to this tag haven't decided what i'm going to do with it yet whether i want to just glue it down onto the page or whether i want to add some kind of see-through pocket i don't know i'm open to ideas so you know if you have any thoughts um, then let me know where's that other page gone you see this one here i did one of my acetate pockets Pockets and put um, the sentiment um, on the top here um, so that you could see the whole of the tag and I just absolutely um, love that um, but I don't know uh, my initial thoughts are that I should glue it straight down but I'm going to take my time to have a think about it but I just think that's absolutely beautiful and so that is my finished project for today so that's it I'm leaving the video here for today but I hope you've enjoyed seeing how this page has come together into um, a beautiful journal page thoroughly enjoyed using these um, beautiful metallic markers as I've said so smooth and easy to use and I'll leave the link to these markers in the description box below for anybody who's interested as always if you've enjoyed my video today um, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now